Okay, so now I've come back from the sink, you'll see that I'm quite wet in my hands. I don't want to drip water onto my actual sterile field. So I've just got to make sure that most of the drips have dripped off me. Reach across and again you can see there's a reasonable distance between myself and the trolley. I've picked up only the cloth here. Okay, now this is quite a big cloth and you'll see again that I've got my hands quite extended. If you put your hands in here and try and do this, you contaminate your arms here and when you drop this towel the towel will actually hit the front of your gown and you'll then have to ask your scout nurse for a new towel so make sure when you do it that you don't have to have it way out there but make sure that you've got it at a reasonable distance away from your body and there's just a process of using half of the towel so you'll see that I'm only drying this right hand with the top left hand side of this towel all right, and again, I just be careful that the piece that's flapping around the bottom there doesn't hit me. So you can see that I've leaned slightly forward. I'm happy that that hand's dry. I then switch ends of my towel. So I go to the right hand end of my towel to dry my left hand. And again, dry each individual finger. Make sure that you dry the webbing in between of your fingers. And then it's just a case of Again, lean forward because we don't want that piece to bop us across the front there. And I'm going to hand that off to my lovely scout nurse who's just behind me out of shot. Okay, happy I'm dry. Really important at this point that your hands are dry because we are about to glove. There is no way that you can glove with wet hands. You're going to make it really difficult for yourself. So it's worth spending time making sure that your hands are dry even though you've got people breathing down your back of your neck saying, can you hurry up and scrub? Next is you pick up your gown, all right, the entire gown. Now you can see here in the gown, there's two parts where the arms might go. So it comes to me in this little package. I unfold it by putting my hands in there. You can see that I've got my thumbs up the top there supporting it. I've stepped away from the trolley and I let the gown fall, okay? And my hands are just inside here nothing at the front see can't see i'm not allowed to touch the front that's the sterile side of the gown and you can actually see that there's two different colors to the gown the light blue is in the back all right so then what we do is we pop our hands into the gown just by spreading your arms out all right just go like that and your hands should spread into that gown you'll then see my lovely scout nurse come in behind me she will pick up the tabs at the top and do them up and then she'll do up the small tie that's about halfway down my back. And as she does that, what it does is pull the sleeves of the gown further onto your arms. You need to make sure that your little fingers don't pop out the ends, all right? Really important. We're going to do what's called a closed gloving technique. So the scout nurse has now done me up and I'm ready to commence gloving. So again, make sure that the distance between yourself and the trolley is good. You don't want to be hugged up against the trolley like this. That's, that's not a safe distance from your trolley. So give yourself a little bit of space and a little bit of arm room to move. Okay, now you can see that I've got two different sorts of gloves here. So what I'm going to demonstrate is how to open the different sorts of packaging. So what you've got to do is apply the principles of what I'm teaching you here to any sort of packaging that you're going to come across inside of the perioperative suite. So we open it one and two. And if I hold this up, you can see that written there is left and right. So if I'll just bring it over a little closer to you. Can you see that it says left and right? Good, okay. So I wanna put on my left glove. I, I, it doesn't matter which one you put on first. It's just your own personal preference. So while you're in the clinical space, Make sure that you practice which one it suits you to put on better. Um, and I'm ambidextrous, so most theatre nurses you'll see will put their right glove on first. If you have a look, you can see that I've got a flat side to my gown and a flat side to my glove. So we want to go, here's my thumb, we want to go thumb to thumb, flat side to flat side. Okay, beautifully done. I'll try and keep the cuff of the other one out. Now you can see just there that there's two sides now to this cuff. All right, when I fold my fingers into this, 
making sure that they stay inside the cuff, I'm just going to fold them into one half of the glove. Can you see there? So I folded them in. There's the other half of the glove. All right, and I've got my hand folded down. So then, using this hand, making sure that your fingers stay inside the glove, give this a reasonable pull down over your hand. All right, so there we are. So now what I'm going to do is carefully, and, ca and so if I just pull the gown, pull it slowly, making sure that the cuff, the white, see this white cuff? Make sure that that white cuff doesn't come out from under your gown. All right, under your glove. And if you want to, without getting your fingers outside, you can pull that down like that. If you want to, you can hang on to the thumb piece, pull the thumb piece, your thumb will fall in like that. Then carefully and gently pull the cuff or your gown so that this white cuff now sits at the bottom of your hand. All right? But you have to make sure that the cuff at the bottom here is still covered by the glove. All right, so I'll do it again for the left hand side. So again, you can see me reach inside the packet, pull out the glove. Okay, there's the thumb piece, thumb to thumb, flat side to flat side. And again, just put your fingers, it's a little bit easier this time, I can actually pull that piece out for you so that you can see. My fingers go down into that space and I pull this down so that the cuff is covered. All right. So again, for me, I like to pull the cuff down and then very gently. Now you can see here that my fingers haven't gone into the glove. All right. So what you do is grab the end, pull it, and your finger will drop in. And you can see I've got two fingers in one glove space here. So grab these two, give them a little pull, and they drop or pop into place. You can see now my thumb's not in place. Same principle, pull the thumb and then just put your thumb up into the space. Then carefully, and as you can see there, care, as you can see, the glove is not where I want the cuff to be. All right, so carefully pull the cuff down. And this does take a little bit of manoeuvring to make sure. And you can see there that the cuff jumped out from under the glove. So all you do is pull that down and making sure that this is your under glove, that it sits fairly flat on your hands. If there's any creases in your hand, we're about to put a smaller glove over the top, any creases in your hand then become pressure points in your hands, as it does for any patient with a dressing. All right, so we've got our first glove on. Just pop that out of the way. And so now I've got the other packet. Same sort of thing. It tells me that it's a size seven. I open the packaging. Now this one, as soon as I go like that, I can see that I have a left and a right. So I'll open it as I would normally on the trolley, just so that you don't think that you've got to pick it up. Go like that. And sometimes when you open it, you can't see the left and right. So if you just go like that, the, the left and right flip up for us. Okay, so again, we're gonna, I'll do the right one for you. Pull it out, make sure that you're away from your trolley. Pop your fingers in. And again, you can see that my fingers haven't gone into the glove. Pull the end, pop it in. All right, my thumb did go in that time. And you can see that I've now got my outer glove. So that's the size seven over the seven and a half. And you can see where the creases are. So it's up to you. Some people wear a seven and a half underneath. Some people will wear a seven with a seven and a half over the top. Some people wear two sevens, two seven and a halves. Up to you and what you decide to do. Again, thumb to thumb, putting it together. Let it push in a little bit of, oh good, I'm so pleased I got one to, and if my thumb hasn't quite gone, and then pull, so you can see here's one cuff, here's the second cuff, glove, sorry, gloves, pull that down over there, all right? And so now I'm gloved and gowned and I'm about to turn with the scout nurse.